Hello and hello, this is Davina here. I have brought your logo, the .png logo, into Inkscape because what I want to do is I want to make the green line what they call a fill. At the moment it's a stroke and I don't think it's that easy to put a glow on a stroke, but you can on a fill. And this is the method I found. So we've got that there, and, I, and what I did, I just went to file and import it from wherever it was. And what I'm going to do now is, whilst it's selected, I'm going to go up to path and trace bitmap. You can only do this on a bitmap, not an SVG. And I'm going to do the colours, the lowest, you can, there's nothing lower than two, and I'm going to have the stack scans ticked and also remove background just in case. I don't think the background's there, but just in case, um, and it will get rid of that white bit there. And object to C, and if you're happy with that, OK. So now what we have, if we move this, that's the uh, original bitmap and this is now a vector, which is what we want to work with. And the way you can tell that is I'm going to hold control and I'm going to move it or make it bigger and you can see it's crisp. There's no pixelation around it, whereas if we go back there, we do this one. Don't know whether we'll be able to see. I think you're beginning to see it. The bigger you get, you can see that there is it's fuzzy, and that's what we don't want. So I'm going to get rid of this now because we don't need that anymore. And press delete. I'm going to select this and I'm looking at the size here, 316 by 164. I think I'm going to make that a bit bigger. The great thing about this is um, you can save it whatever size you want or make it whatever size you want and then save that as a PNG. You can always reduce the PNG to keep the crispness, but if it's a small, say it was um, 100 pixels by 150, that's small. And if you put it into PowerPoint or on a document or whatever and blow it up, that's when it gets pixelated. So it's better to start off with big and reduce it. But what we're in at the moment is the vector. So I'm going to hold control and just make it a little bit bigger. Let's take it somewhere around 450. That will do. OK, so we've got your outline of your house. You want to make a glow. So the first thing to do is duplicate this layer, sorry, this object, and you either go up to duplicate or control D and I'll click on there. The top layer, it's right on top of the one below, and of course it's the same colour, so you have got two there. And just to prove it, I'm going to move it and you can see them. So I'm going to put that back as it was, Control Z. I'm now going to change this colour here, and I'm going to make it... Um, a light one because that's the, the inner. So we've got that and we now go up to path and we come to inset. And so what's happened is it's become within the lines if you like. What we need to do now is duplicate the dark green and this can be a bit fiddly. So we go to the magnifying tool and all this does is magnify it, doesn't make it any the, the image any bigger, which is great. 
and I'm going to click on the outside one. And the way I check to make sure I've got it right is if I go up to Stroke and Fill, you will see that there's a light colour and I think I've clicked on that one. So we'll try again. Another way is if you hold down the tab key, it should, there it is, it should go to the, there's, there's two objects here and it's gone to the darker one and that's the one you want. If I press the tab key again, can you see it's gone lighter. I don't want that one, but I do want that one. So let's make this smaller. And we are going to duplicate. We're honestly we're duplicating the dark green because you'll see in a minute. So control D and there it is. I'm going to change the colour of this one because it's going to be the outer glow. So again, I'm going to go possibly to the same colour. Maybe. Anyway, I've changed it to that. I'm going to send it behind and you do that and then go up and I'm going to blur it and it's a case of here. Don't blur too much. So there will be a glow there and the best way to show you the glow is to create a a rectangle and let's make it dark. Let's move it and make it a bit bigger. Oops, not that big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over the top of there. Let's make it a bit bigger so it covers it. And then I'm going to pop that to the back and it's click on that one. And then you can see that there is a glow all the way around the house. I don't know whether this is the effect that you're looking for, but I think that's the only way I found up to now of putting a glow around an object rather than um, on text. Having got your image, obviously we want to save it. So I'm going to take this out of the way and click delete. Before you save your image you need to bring your uh, page back and we do that going to file, document properties and go to resize page and drawing and of course click on show page border and if we come off there you will see it's saved in that page. First of all, I'm going to save this one as an SVG. So it's file, and I always do save as, and I will put it in the current project and uh, call it Greenhouse. Oops. House dot SVG. And I'm now going to save it in the same size as a bitmap file, export, the size is right there, that corresponds and I'm going to browse, it's going in the same place, I'm going to call it a greenhouse but for me it will be PNG. Save and more in, most importantly export and that's it. I've saved mine and I brought it into um, well, I've got Keynote, um, like your PowerPoint, and yes, it, it, it looks okay. There's no white background and the sizing's okay. I don't know how big you want it. Um, obviously, if you do if you make it bigger, it's going to pixelate, so play around with your, your sizing, but that should be a reasonable size. I hope it's been helpful, and if you are interested in our tutorials 
as I say in my email, I would recommend that you um, sign up for them because not only is there free tutorials, but we do do newsletters and really to keep you informed of any new things we come up with. Um, nice talking to you and maybe speak to you again. Bye bye.